Hi everyone, this is Ubon King and welcome to episode 2 of Ask Ubon King. And I want to first of all thank every single one of you that sent me your questions, you know, on all the social media handles that I have on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on all the social networks, even on WhatsApp, I want to say thank you, you know, and I'm happy that you are getting your answers to the questions you have sent. Now, we have also put up a dedicated um, WhatsApp group where you can post your questions. I will definitely, you know, get back to you with the response to your video. I want to engage you. I want to be intentional about responding to your questions, and that is what I've done. So I'll be taking a few questions today, and I hope I'll be able to answer those questions for you, and hope you can practice it, and let's have the feedback because I want you to win. And that's why this segment of Ask Football King is done here. So thank you again, and and let's get down to some questions. Okay, number one question is from YouTube, and this question is from is from Sarah Adegbolu on YouTube. She says, "I lack business ideas, and how do I go about it? Any tips for me?" Now, Sarah, Sarah, I want to just say something to you. Nobody lacks business ideas. Nobody. You always have these ideas. It's just how do you convert it into um, profit or money? That it may be a challenge. Now, first of all, I always tell people, add, have a target, you know, let your target be maybe like 100,000 or 200,000 or 300,000, that's your target, or 200 million or 300 million, then you write it, that's your target. Once a target is written, direction always appears, always appears in any industry. Take for example again, now if you are going to somewhere like maybe Abuja and you're in Lagos, one of the things you do is that you have decided that you're going to Abuja at a particular time. So with that, you have three or four different modes of transportation. You either can go by air, you can go by road, or you can go by train, or you can even decide they are going to use night bus or whatever public system you're going to use. When you decide your target, your target will always create the way. The ideas are there to satisfy something. What, what do you want to satisfy? What, do you, what target do you want to do? So once you have a target, then the idea comes in, this idea. You now find out how do you convert that um, profit you're looking for through that idea. You ask yourself that question and you get it. Take for example like 300,000 and you have an idea of selling popcorn. Let's put it like that. Popcorn, then your target is 300,000. Where can you sell popcorn? for 300,000? That now becomes the right kind of questions to ask. Now, if you ask yourself that kind of question, you can say, okay, there is a university here or there is a school here which people go to. And if they go to those schools or those universities, you can sell there. Now, if you go to somewhere where nobody is, even if you have the best popcorn, nobody will buy from you. But because you have a target, because you have your direction is clear, you will know the people to associate with. So your target will determine your direction, your direction determines your association. So your idea must be tied to a target and your idea will look for the people which you need to connect it and make profit out of it. So that is what you do with your ideas. You say you don't have, you have ideas. Just document it and you begin to write it down and work with it. So that's what you do with ideas. Everybody has ideas. Yes, everybody. It is how do you tie it to your target? That's what you need to do. And it will take you effort. Trust me, it will take you personal effort. There's no, it's not a flash in the pan that you just come like that. Yes, that idea is there. Write it down. Then begin to ask yourself the question. Sometimes you can just say, okay, I like a beautiful car. Um, um, I like to start a car travel system or a car transport system, a, a, a car transport system. The, I would always tell you, look for people that have done it before. How did they do it? What are they doing about it? You begin to ask yourself the right questions. Questions, the right questions always give you the right answers and right association. Your target, your, your direction, and then your association. That's what you need to do. So I hope this helps you. And please get me, let me know what happens when you try it. And do have a fantastic time. Thank you. Chiwe Okua on Instagram. Chiwe Okua has asked, if you were given one million naira in a remote part of Lagos, what can you do with it to yield immediate results? Chinwe, there's nothing like immediate results. Um, if, you, if, you, if you make money immediately, you'll spend that money immediately. That's the first law <laughs> of making money immediately. And there are several things you can do immediately and make money immediately. Let's take, for example, somebody says he wants to buy a plot of land in wherever, in that remote part of Lagos, and you know the buyer, you can quickly go and buy that money and then sell it to the person that you know you have made money. That's immediate money. But if you want a cash flow, if you want something that will give you cash flow, you need to ask yourself, okay, what business can I do? If you say a remote part of Lagos, are there people living there? What do they need? What, what kind of things do they need? And if, if that is what they need, fine. 
you can, I know some people that are in areas like um, Ikorudu is not remote, you know, and Alagbado is not remote, but you may consider it remote because it's not close to the island where a lot of business communities are. But guess what, there are hotels there. And there are people that eat in that hotel. There are people that, you know, there are restaurants there. They will need fish. So if you own a fish farm and then trade on it, and then you know that there is an experience over time to do it, then you make a cash flow that makes the money. So the money comes, you know, maybe 100, 200, 300. You'll be working it like that to make it happen. But if you're looking for immediate gratification, I don't ever advise immediate gratification because the same way you're looking for immediate gratification, you can lose your money, the whole one million, immediately. So never look for the short-term kind of money. Look for the medium-term and the long-term where you can invest your money over time and then the money comes in and plans a cash flow for you. Because what cash flow does for you, cash flow gives you discipline. It teaches you how to manage your money. It teaches you how to budget. It teaches you what kind of investment you will do and what is the return on investment, the time of the investment. You know your cash cycle. You know the cost of one naira. That maybe for you to make one naira, it is 70 cobble you need to make one naira. So those are the kind of things you learn with money. And that one million, it helps you to understand business. Another thing that people, I tell people to do, if you don't know what to do with one million, go to Google, ask Google, what what can I do with, with one million? Google will tell you different ideas, different ideas. Whichever one resonates with you, trust me, you will still spend your time to understand it, to invest it, and to know it. And don't be afraid of failing. Don't be afraid of failing. Don't be afraid of failing because if your money is sitting in the bank, it is the bank that is using your money, not you. So learn this particular skill and try it for yourself and let me know what happens to you. I will be happy to hear your feedback and I'll be very honored to even see the magic that you have done. There's nothing wrong in trying. I can also also say there are a lot of online businesses that you could try you know and um, drop shipping you know buy open an online store uh, go into forex trading go into anything that you want to do so you decide what you do and trust me you need some passion to stay in that drive because morning noon and night how do you sell how do you make it happen those are the kind of things you need to look for in making it happen so I hope that helps you and uh, Chingwe, please let me know what happens to you. Thank you. Question number three is by Pete Ochifulo on YouTube. And he says, how do I become more disciplined in life? Wow. Uh, Pete, that's a very fantastic question. I think for me, it is your target that determines your drive. Your target determines what you do. If you put a time and a target to yourself, you'll be more focused, you'll be more disciplined because that time will always keep you in check. That time will always keep you in check. Another way of keeping, of uh, being more disciplined in life is to have, you know, daily and hourly goals. If you put a goal that today you must do this, you must call like five people. So there is a target for that day. Now, so if you do that, now you have accomplished your target. The next day you want to call 10 people there is a target for that day. What happens is that when you begin to follow your target, your goals, you will be so focused on them that other things do not distract you. That's how you become more disciplined. If you say character-wise, that maybe that's where your interest is about discipline, I think you need to be very careful about your association because your friends determine your values, your values determine your decisions, your decisions determine your actions, and your actions always determine your results. So if your results are not the best. Be very careful. They are traceable to your actions. Your actions, you know, are always traceable to your decisions. Your decisions are always traceable to your values. And your values are always traceable to your relationships. And your relationships include the people that influence you, the things that influence you, such as your parents, your brothers, your friends, and not only physical human beings. What you watch on YouTube, what you watch on Instagram, what you watch on uh, Facebook, all those things affect you. So where I see you spend your time in every day I know what is molding you what is forming the kind of habit that you have and what kind of discipline you will have you don't need it because if you walk over a work on it for a period of time it will become a habit not even consciously but subconsciously if you listen to this kind of sessions every day every day every day for the next 30 days you would have formed a habit your discipline will change because it is helping you to become that person you want to be but if your interest is on okay that then they are fighting here they are fighting here they are fighting here you are watching it every day every morning every afternoon 
afternoon, every evening, for as much as 30 days, you'll be attracted to fight, you'll be attracted to violence. So if you want to change your, change the way you do things, get yourself into, you know, some level of uh, positive um, uh, conversations and positive relationships. And when you hear anything positive, anything good, please get a journal and then write what you hear. Write what you see because now not only are you engaging your eyes, but you're also engaging your, your mind and your hand towards um, a lot of things to write to that point. So those are the kind of things that help you to become disciplined. Another thing that you can do is to have an accountability officer. Somebody who you can always have a chit chat with periodically. Look, look, how am I doing? Where am I going? What am I doing? How am I doing it? Am I doing it well? Yes or no? I'm not doing it well? Yes or no? So those are the kind of things I need you to always put together. And when you do that, you get the kind of result I'm expecting. So I wish you the very best. And please get, let me know how you feel about it. And that will be very happy. I'll be very happy with that. Now, question number four goes like this. The Serpent Art is asking, what service can I provide to the rich? You can provide every service, every, any kind of service to the rich. But your service is not based on quantity, rather on quality. The rich are quality centric, not quantity centric. A rich, a, a, a regular person can buy four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cars, but a rich man will buy one car that will pay for not only the nine car, but for 90 cars the regular people drive. So you need to ask yourself that what can you do? If your service does not meet up to what they want, they will not talk to you. The same way somebody is going to take night bus to travel to, uh, to the village or to, to their hometown. Somebody will go and buy a flight ticket, you know, and then wait on queue and fly to that same state. Meanwhile, a rich man will use a private jet to go there. All of them are going to the same place, but they have decided what medium. So if you want to provide for this, be ready to have the quality that the rich wants and then put service must be second to none otherwise you are not going to get the attention the rich are looking for quality service with value prestige elegant otherwise they will not patronize you even if you have a rich friend if your quality is not up to their standard they won't buy from you they won't buy from you and don't get irritated when um, when people don't buy from you. If you up your quality, then you will up the people that buy from you. So if you want to address the rich, then do that. That's how you sell to the rich. And then always be diligent about what is. And the, the, the rich are very quality conscious. They are very quality conscious. Very, very quality conscious. So you need to know that about that. If you don't have that quality, forget it. You can't sell to the rich. You can't. They will not do that. A rich man is ready to go and sleep in a hotel of, um, of 100,000 naira, 200, 500, 600,000 naira. They can never be caught dead in a 10,000 naira hotel. So those people that service the rich don't build hotels for 10,000 people. They build for that category of people. Meanwhile, another person is building a hotel for 10,000 naira, 5,000 naira. He will attract his market. So you decide which market you want to service. The fact that both of them have hotels do not attract the same customers. So that's what you need to do. My question I would like to ask is, what exactly does it require for someone to become a motivational speaker? Is there a particular, like a particular level of education? Are there some required necessities for other to, for someone like Obama to stand in front of people and motivate them? So that's just my question. Thank you. Hello, hey man, how are you doing? Thanks for your WhatsApp video. Being a motivational speaker is, um, has to do with, first of all, who do you want to serve? For me, it is not everybody that I serve. I serve a set of people and I have an age bracket that I cut across to. So you will decide what your message is, you will decide who you want to serve it to, and number three, you decide the medium you want to use. Now, if you look at me, I speak more to the young minds of between 20 to 45. That is the kind of people I speak to. There are some people that fall in maybe like from 20, 18 and up to 50, 55. 55. My dressing is youth-like. I don't, I, because that is what will attract my crowd. My message is on, on, on uh, 
positive thinking about yourself and how you can take advantage of your situation challenging you. Somebody who is 50, who is, so, who is rested, is not going to listen to me. He can tell me that, King, I like what you said. Please, I'm sending my message to my son. So he knows that my message is for his son. It's for people under him. So you define the people, you define your message, and you work it out. What are the things, where will you catch them? If I want to send a message to somebody who is 20 years old, and he has a phone, and then there's an iPad and newspaper. Now, how, what is the best form of communication? Uh, would, he, would, would I put it on the phone? Would I put it, or will he read his phone? Will he, use, read his, will he look at his iPad? Or will he look at the newspaper? Definitely he will look at his phone. If the person is 25, he will look at his phone. If he's 30, he will look at his phone. They are not bothered about iPad and newspaper. If the person is 40, 45, they may consider to look at the iPad and the computer. So if I want to pass a message to a 20-year-old person, now, it will be wrong for me to go and put it in a newspaper or put it in a billboard. They are not looking there. Their minds are on their phones. So my target is there. My message is, 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 is concentrated to that crop of people. So once you focus your message, identify your target, and then you, 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 you deliver on it. And trust me, you keep doing it, keep doing it over time. Learn to develop your content and write out what your thought patterns are and begin to build your story. Do you want to tell a story? Do you want to do storyline? Do you want to do it punch, um, just bullet, bullet ways? You decide how you want to do it and that goes a long way in making it happen. So if you do that, you are good to go. And you see, don't get, a, don't, don't, don't get disappointed if you don't, if a lot of people don't look at you on the first day, you know, make your mistakes but start. Make your mistake but start. And I'm sure that will always help you do a lot of things. So, hey man, I hope that helps you. And uh, you can always reach out to me on it. Thank you again and do have a fantastic day. Thank you for another wonderful time on Ask Ubon King. And please, I want to say, ask your questions. Don't, don't be shy to ask your question. When you ask questions, you get answers. People that are successful ask questions and they ask the right questions. This is a medium where you can get your questions, your specific questions answered. So you will see a number right now here. Now, send your video questions to that number on WhatsApp. When I see that, I will make a video for you and then I will send it on social media so that I'll probably tag you so they can see. Another one, you can go to my YouTube page and then post your question there. Go to my Instagram page, post your question there or on my link um, on my Facebook page and post your question there. I will always service all the, all the questions that are there. So don't sit back and say, who will answer my question? Ubon King is here to answer your question. So enjoy yourself and let's make it happen and see you on the next edition of Ask Ubon 3. Thank you.